Hi everyone! Welcome back to Anikapedia with me, Anika. I am so excited because today we'll be exploring the respiratory system. Let's go! What is the respiratory system? The respiratory system is a network of organs and systems that help you breathe. That includes your airways, lungs, and blood vessels. These parts work together to move oxygen throughout the body and clean waste gases. Different parts of the respiratory system, the nasal cavity. Let's learn about the nasal cavity. The nasal cavity is where air first enters through your nostrils. Its function is to filter the air with the nose hair, and then that heads to the windpipe. Mucus is also present in the nasal cavity to trap stuff. So here is your nasal cavity. These are your nose hairs which help trap the dust. And these are your olfactory nerves which let your brain know what you're smelling. Now we're going to learn about the pharynx. The pharynx is a common place where food and air meet. Its function is to take the air to the air pipe, I mean wind pipe, and the food to the food pipe. So here is the pharynx, and its function is to take the air to the windpipe and the food to the food pipe. Now we'll be learning about the epiglottis. So the epiglottis is a leaf-shaped cartilage located at the top of the larynx. So by the way, this is the epiglottis, this little flap-like thing. Its function is to protect the food from getting into the windpipe by covering the windpipe whenever you swallow food. So it's like a flap because it covers your windpipe when you swallow so you don't choke. Next, we'll be learning about the larynx. The vocal cords are present here and its function is to create sound. It facilitates smooth movement of air to the trachea. And here is the larynx. And what we mean it by facilitating the trachea, put your hand to your mouth and say, you'll feel a gust of air on your hand. So that is what we mean by it facilitates smooth movement of air to the trachea. Next, we'll be learning about the trachea itself. So also known as the windpipe, its function is to get air to the bronchi. The trachea is surrounded by C-shaped cartilage rings that protect the left. So these are the C-shaped cartilage rings we were talking about. And these rings help it not collapse. So if suppose you put five rings on your finger and you hit your finger on something hard, your finger will be protected by those rings. In the same way, these C-shaped cartilage rings protect the trachea from not collapsing. Next, we'll be learning about the bronchi. So the trachea splits up into two tubes, which are called the bronchi. So these two tubes we're talking about are these, so the bronchi. Its function is to help the air to reach the lungs. So these are primary bronchi. These are the primary bronchi we were talking about before. And they are further divided into secondary bronchi, tertiary bronchi, and bronchioles. Together, they form the respiratory tree. Now, how do you tell which is the secondary bronchi, tertiary bronchi, and bronchioles? The secondary bronchi is this. So basically, these tree-like things, the bronchi looks like trees. So I like to think of it that the secondary bronchi are the branches of the, like, I mean, the trunk of the tree. The trunks of the tree are the secondary bronchi. So these trunks. And then I like to think the tertiary bronchi as the branches. So as we can see here, this is one branch. This is another branch. So the tertiary bronchi are like the branches of the respiratory tree. 
And then we have the bronchioles, which are like the little tiny twigs on the tree. Like, if we go to this one, there's a lot of them. See this little twig here, this little twig, this little twig. Those are the bronchioles. And together they form the respiratory tube. Next we'll be learning about the alveoli. So the alveoli is the ultimate branching of the respiratory tree. These are sac-like structures that act as a site for exchange of gases between your lungs and your blood vessels. The alveoli gets the air from the bronchioles. So if we go back, these are the bronchioles, the little twigs. So as you can see in the diagram, these circle things are the alveoli, these circles. So the circles are the alveoli, and these alveoli give all of the air to the blood vessels. And then your blood vessels decide which one is oxygen and which one is carbon dioxide. So they keep the oxygen and give away the carbon dioxide to your lungs. That's why when you breathe in, you breathe in carbon, you breathe in air, and then when you breathe out, you breathe out carbon dioxide because your blood vessels keep the air and give the carbon dioxide to your lungs. So when you breathe out, carbon dioxide comes out. How well do you know the respiratory system? Kahoot time! But we're back at the kahoot. The first question is coming up. The question is, what is the flap-like structure that protects the food from entering the windpipe? The bronchi? The pharynx, the epiglottis, or the larynx? The correct answer is the epiglottis. If you got epiglottis, you are right. Next, the pharynx is where the vocal cords are located. True? or false? The pharynx is where the vocal cords are located. True or false? Correct answer is false. The larynx is where the vocal cords are located, not the pharynx. So if you've got false, you are correct. Next question, what is the name of the first part of the bronchi? The alveoli, the secondary bronchi, the trachea, or the primary bronchi? Correct answer is the primary bronchi. If you got that right, good job. Question. What is the purpose of vocal cords? To help breathe, to carry oxygen, to help eat, to talk, sing, or make sound. The correct answer is coming up. The correct answer is to talk, sing, and make sound. Good job. Next. Is, what do blood vessels keep and give to the lungs? Keep carbon dioxide, keep everything, absorb nutrition, none of them above. I repeat, what do blood vessels keep and give to the lungs? Correct answer is, none of them above. If you got that correct, good job. And it would not have been keep carbon dioxide because they give the lungs carbon dioxide and they keep the oxygen. Let's go to the next question. True or false? The bronchi's function is to reach air to the lungs. True or false? The bronchi's function is to get the air to the lungs. True or false? The correct answer is 
true. You got that right? Good job. What is another name for the windpipe? The trachea, the larynx, the pharynx, or the bronchi? What is another name for the windpipe? The trachea, larynx, pharynx, or bronchi? You got that right, good job. What are the parts of the respiratory system in which air passes through called? Respiration, airway, respiration parts, body's respiratory system. What are the parts in the respiratory system where air passes through called? Respiration, airway, respiration parts, or body's respiration system? The correct answer is... Body's resp... I mean, airway. Good job. Mucus in the nasal cavity helps make the air you bleed, breathe cleaner. True or false? Well, that's all for today. Goodbye.